Hi! Again, um, this is the second time I'm doing this video. Imagine that, right? Alright, so the first one is, uh, I'm going to tell you the series of questions I'm going to ask myself, and I'm going to basically answer them. First one is, do you think there are religions that are harmful or destructive? Um... Were you afraid of God as a child? Which is number two. Number three is, can you be good without God? Which is number four is, does religion dictate what you do? Number five, is it sinful to criticize others for their sins? Number six, five and one. <laughs> Is suicide a sin? Five and two, which is seven. Uh, should religious studies be mandatory in school? All right, so there. First one is, do you think there are religions that are harmful or destructive? I do. It's seen throughout history. It's pretty much seen throughout history and documented. It's true. Um, Catholics did this to several different people. If they didn't believe the way that they did, they either killed them off or they made them convert. Um, which is not just harmful to their religion now because they all look like a bunch of idiots now. But they also look... But they also made these people feel so horrible because they believed in something else. Um, next is... Are you... Were you afraid of God as a child? Uh, yes, I was... Was and am afraid of God as a child. I shouldn't have said am because I'm not entirely sure if that's still true. But the way I look at it, the Christian God is a little hi hypocritical... He drowned a whole world simply because he didn't like the way they were and just destroyed a whole city simply because the way they were and he didn't like it. Um, it's, I don't like that and it scares me that a god could do that and not feel anything and not think it's wrong to do that and yet to say, oh, well, if you commit murder, it's a sin. Well, you committed murder as well. You killed off like a whole f fucking world. It's like, how is that? How are you not sinning? Anyway, back off to that. Can you be good without God? Yes. If you do not have your own morals, you do not have to have morals. You do not have to believe in a God or be in a certain re really religion to have morals or to know what is right and wrong. If you do not have this and think, and you think you need God to be able to have this, then it's your own problem. And even if, even if you find God, you may not even have morals. I know there, there are a lot of people in history, killers and everything, serial killers that are Christian, who didn't have morals right before they turned Christian, didn't have morals then either. So, obviously, you're not getting morals from Christianity or from other religions. You develop your own morals as you go. If you do not, then, well, sorry to say, but depending on what you do, you're probably not a good person. Sorry. Okay, next is, does religion dictate what you do? Okay, this goes back to the, um, to the question I just answered. It sort of does, they try to, but you have your own morals. You should be going off of what you think is right, not what some higher being or religion tells you to do. Um, you know it's wrong to steal, you know it's wrong to murder, you know it's wrong to commit adultery, which is basically cheating on your husband or wife. You know it's wrong to cheat, period. You know any of that's wrong. You don't need... Some tablet with Ten Commandments. You don't need God telling you that that it's wrong. You know it's wrong. 
then you know it's wrong. There's no way around that. There's no anything to stop that. All right, next is, is, oh, is it sinful to criticize others for their sins? Yes, if you're willing to criticize someone else for their sins, then you're committing one yourself because you're not supposed to be criticizing. You're not supposed to be doing any of that, like shoving anything down anybody's throat. Everyone has free will. Free will. Let them have their own free will. If they want to be wrong, if they want to do stuff that they shouldn't, let them get punished for it on their own. Do not put yourself into it. Criticizing other people for their sins is only putting yourself down to their level. Next is, is suicide a sin? Yes. I'm not even going to go into that very much because I shouldn't even have to explain that. Just saying. I believe suicide is a sin. That's it. No more. Uh, next is... Hmm. Should religious studies be mandatory in school? No. I hate that. It bugs the hell out of me. School, especially mandatory school, like first grade through 12, okay, is oh, should only be... For actual studies, it shouldn't have religion, should not even be in it at all. None. Whatsoever. Zero. Nada. Zilch. That's it. It shouldn't be in schools. It should be up to the parents to decide if they do that. If they are to decide what religion they are going to go or what church they're going to go to or who should... Who they should pray to or whatever it is not up to the school system it's not up to the government it's up to the parents raising said children get over yourselves guys it should not be in school it's a school for learning religion should only be taught in churches and in your own household it should not be taught in a school that's supposedly teaching all this other stuff for other kids to be able to be adults when they get out. No, it doesn't work that way. Being religious is not going to make you into an adult. Doesn't work. All right, next is a bonus question. I have bonus questions all for you guys. Uh, next is, uh, should parents be able to force their children to attend church regularly? No, if your children and child does not want to go. Do not force them. They will not be happy and they will automatically turn away from you. They will become re rebellious. They will hate you at some point because they feel that their choices are being made for them or they're being forced into things. And that never ends well. Listen to what your child is saying. If they're saying, oh, well, I don't feel like going today or, oh, I don't feel like being Christian anymore or, oh... I, I, I want to believe in this. Let them. If it's wrong for them, they will find it out. If it's right, they'll stay with it. And you won't have to worry about it. But either way, being free to pick your own re religion should be everywhere. Everyone should do that because... Nobody is happy to be forced to be something else that you're not supposed to be. Like me, if I was forced to be Christian, I'd hate myself. I would be entirely unhappy with my life. And you don't want your child to be that unhappy because that unhappy can sometimes lead to suicide. Just saying. Alright, so. Next bonus question is, does... The Christian God have favorites. I don't know if that's whether true or not. I mean, with the way I believe, yes, he does. I believe that if you do not believe in him and you're not saved and blah, 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 you're just going to be left behind. Like, if the end times does come and all the Christians are swept up into the sky, for lack of a better term, uh, we're just... The people like me are just going to be left down here to suffer for the rest of their lives or rest of eternity simply because he decides that he doesn't want to take you up with him simply because you do not pray to him. 
that's stupid, hypocritical, and ridiculous because that he claims to be a loving God, yet he's willing to turn his back on a bunch of people that don't even pray to him. You're a God, dude. You can't have everything you want. Anyway, next bonus question is, will Adam have not sinned if God, God, had not created Eve? Yes, obviously he would have. He's a he is a guy. Just like if the girl was alone, she would have eventually sinned too. None of us are perfect. That's the way he made us, supposedly, in his image. But to say that it's all the female's fault that the guy sinned is stupid because nobody knows for sure if she had not been there, if he would have done the same freaking thing. Anyway, the snake only chose her because she was the one closest. It even says so in the freaking story. She's the one who met it first. And it started telling her to take it. If he had met it first, he would have been the one to take it. And vice versa. And now all the women are being criticized simply because of a fucking story that may or may not even be true. So, yeah. Not to mention, the whole Adam and Eve story revolves around incest at some point after the story. After they're kicked out. Alright, next bonus question. Do bystander... No, I don't want to read that. Should couples live together before marriage? This has nothing to do with religion per se. It has everything to do with marriage and religion, I guess. Um, my mother believes that no, you should not live together if you're not married. I, however, am of frame of mind that you should not get married unless you have lived together because that way you know how somebody is once, once you've lived with them for a certain amount of time. And by that time, you will know if you really want to marry that, that, uh, that person or not. Um, so... I believe that, yes, you should be able to live together and not be married because that's a trial run. Trial run. Because if you're living with them and they turn out to be totally different than what you've met and what you've talked with or whatever, then you can decide right, in, right then and there that you may not want to marry this person. And that's perfectly fine. You shouldn't have to get married right off the bat and then move in and then realize that you guys are not meant for each other or you guys are not compatible. I mean, it happens all the time where people get married and they automatically move in and then things go from go to hell in a handbasket, for lack of a better term, considering I don't believe in hell. But, yeah, that is my belief. Um, next bonus question is, do bystanders have a responsibility to intervene when there is trouble? Yes, I'm not even going to go into that. I'm just going to say yes and move on. Uh, next one we have is, could you be together with someone with different beliefs? Yes. If they're the right person, they, they will love you regardless of what you believe in and vice versa. If, if you love that person, you will love them and you will love them anyway because of who they are. If you try and change them, then they will no longer be the person that you fell in love with. Moving on. Oh. What would you want to happen to your body when you die? Me, I'd rather be cremated. I believe that if my body is not preserved in every way, shape, or possible, I will not go to where I need to go. So, essentially, I have to have all my organs when I'm cremated. That's what I believe. Again, now as to whether or not when I get to the afterlife that's going to be true or not, I don't know. Nobody really knows what um, what happens after when you die anyway. All I'm doing is speculating. Okay, next we have, uh, do you think marriage will change you? Obviously, marriage changes everybody. Moving on. If a friend told me they were gay, would I still socialize with them? Duh. 
You shouldn't hate somebody simply because of who they love. Come on now, guys. I mean, I have a dad who's a girl. <laughs> My father figure is a woman, guys, who is married to another girl. So, yeah, I think I'm pretty well covered on that. Um, let's see. Ignorance is bliss. Do I agree? I do agree to some extent. I believe that in some cases, ignorance is bliss because sometimes there are just certain things you should not know. There are some, there are certain things that nobody should should know. But then again, on the same coin, if something bad was happening like child abuse or anything like that, ignorance is bliss would not be go well with that statement because, you know, knowing would save that child a hell of a lot of pain and suffering. So there you go. Next one is donating sperm or eggs and would I want my husband or my husband or significant other to do so as well. Yeah, I wouldn't mind. I believe that I would do that because it's not wrong to me and I think it's wonderful that people out there would be willing to give up their sperm or their eggs to help other couples have children that may not be able to or for gay couples to have their own biological children that's fine for me I'm happy with that life is sacred if you're not if you're having a fit about donating sperm to some unfertile couple or whatever why just why all right moving on do I believe in life on other planets or aliens? I do. To say that there's no life anywhere else besides here is stupid. And I don't even want to comment on what else my brain was saying. But I do believe in it. I There are several witness accounts throughout history of UFOs. So obviously there is something out there. Now as to whether or not it's going to be good for us when they do decide to speak to us, who knows? Okay, next is, is there too much pressure on girls to have the perfect body? Yes, I'm a woman. I'm slightly overweight. I'm exactly five foot. I don't think that weight should play into anything. I don't think it's right that weight plays into anything. I think it's stupid and irresponsible for anybody to say, oh, well, you look bad because you weigh this, this, this much or whatever. Or, oh, you look this bad, so you look, so you're horrible, whatever. It's stupid. You can't go around saying stuff like that because not only can you make them commit suicide, you could seriously hurt somebody. And words are a very powerful weapon. That's why you should choose what you speak. Choose what you say very, very, very carefully. If you're not willing to choose something very carefully, then you are no better than anyone else in history that has done anything. Anything bad. You're no better. It's just that simple. Alright, so... What Alright, so apparently I don't have anything else for you guys, so when I have another topic or new topics, I will certainly do another video. Um, 
This one will be a day late because I'm trying to keep it one, one video a day if I can or one video a week if I'm really busy. So, yeah, please subscribe to my channel. Um, please stay tuned for any other videos. I just uploaded one today or yesterday, excuse me. I'm a bit behind. I uploaded, uploaded one yesterday called uh, History June 11th. Um, that was yesterday, if you haven't noticed. So, yes, please subscribe, stay tuned, and all that jazz, and uh, please comment, guys. I like to read comments, and the fact that nobody's commenting is kind of weird, because, you know, I don't like it. Don't like it at all. So, yeah, please comment, subscribe, and all that crap, and, yeah, so, bless be, love and light, and I will see you guys next time, and I may not end this video after all. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. Um, <laughs> so. If you guys have any ideas on what you want me to do. Video wise. Or any questions. For. Uh, paganism and stuff. Please tell me. And I will be sure to do that for you guys. And there's a train coming. So I'm going to end the video now. And so, with that said, bless be, love, and light, and I will see you guys next time. And it's coming through. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but it's really loud here. But anyway, goodbye.